Welcome to the 10th Annual Women of Achievement Awards Luncheon. Sit back and enjoy each and every woman who comes up here because they are so different, so diverse, yet the common thread with all of them is in their own right, they have such an innate gift of courage, of vision, and compassion to make a difference in the lives of other people. You are about to meet some amazing women. The National Association of Women in Construction, NAWIC, has helped women succeed in the construction industry since 1961. Our first Woman of Achievement Award goes to a woman who has been the president of the Greater Providence Chamber of Commerce. So much in common, yet so much more to do in this uh, increasingly fragile world, and I know that the challenges uh, excite all of us in terms of all of us in this room are like the facets of a gemstone and each of us are what makes all women shine so let's keep doing what we're doing she shines we all shine thank you over the last 39 plus years i have had the privilege to be part of many people's lives celebrating their successes achievements milestones and supporting them during times of challenge frustration and even failures keep a quote by winston churchill on my desk that i read every single day and it best describes how I live my life, which is we make a living by what we get and we make a life by what we give. So thank you very much. I lead an amazing organization, the Rhode Island Free Clinic. Every day we change the lives of uninsured men and women. It's a gift for, help, for them to get health care. I'm on the list with all these amazing women. <laughs> oh my goodness, like, and just women inspiring other women. We need more of this, like, we really, really do. This is amazing for me to see this. And the mission of the Lady Project is to connect, inspire, and showcase awesome women doing amazing things, and that's also what the YWCA is doing, and we are honored to have Donna Lockerfield is the director of the Heat Smart Campaign. We are trying to provide a heat smart kit, which consists of a warm warm blanket, weather stripping, and an instruction sheet to low income households so that they can become effective and efficient with their heating costs. Believe me, we were tried by many people. <laughs> that we thought we were trying the cases, there were those who wanted to see us fail. We did not, and I want to thank Pamela and all the women who have been appointed after us in the various court systems and creating jobs here in Rhode Island. We all know that Rhode Island has, I think at this point, maybe the third highest unemployment rate in the nation. And when you think about it from a black and minority perspective, that number is significantly higher. So it is important that we have over 400 something people in this room that you think about also investing in minority firms, black firms, Latina firms, and so forth, so we can have that one Rhode Island that we so hope and dream for in the very near future. And it's this constant thinking of being compassionate, caring, not forgetting where you came from. And for me, that's very special. Very special for us and the values that we are trying to instill in our own families and children. And if I were to give a message today about people who are struggling to seize the economic opportunity and to be successful, it's, it's okay to provide, it's necessary to provide the skills, the education, and the basic needs. But please don't forget the humanness of people and that we all have our stories. I thank all of my friends and family. My mother is here. My mother is the strongest woman I know. What she taught me when I was a kid was that if you had to move a refrigerator, you moved it. You didn't wait for anybody to help you. <laughs> so my, my heart is always partly in Haiti with these young women. And recently we started, the well, I started teaching and showing the girls the books, books by Bell Hooks, and were translated. 
And so I thought I would end with one of the, and they love reading bell hooks, and so I thought I would read, um, end with a quote of hers. There can be no love where there is domination, and any time we do the work of ending domination, we are doing the work of love. Thank you very much.